Hello grade 9 math class, welcome back to another lecture. We are going to be doing lesson 4 today where we're multiplying terms together where they have the same base. They're going to have exponents, but the key is that they have the same base. And you can see, I already wrote the question down. I'm very excited. I can't wait to show you what to do. The key here is that the 6 and the 6 are the same. Let's go. When we have two things multiplied together, and that's what the dot means if you've never seen that before, uh, that have the same base and they have exponents, what we do is we add the exponents. So same base, we add the exponents. And I think I made a poster somewhere about the exponent rules. Uh, it, don't quote me, but it should be on the wall. So six squared times six squared, we just add the exponents. Two plus two is four, so this is six to the power of four. And in these ones, we're not doing anything further. We could solve this, but we're not going to. We're just going to simplify. As we're going to build on this and do, find out a whole bunch more exponent rules. Let's move over towards eight. So let's do four times four to the power of two. When we have no exponent shown, like this one, where we just have four, that means that it's to the power of one. So we have the same base, so four to the power of 1 times 4 to the power of 2, that's just 4 to the power of 3. And again, we could solve, but in these ones, we do not need to. We're going to go to the next one, where we have three terms, and that's okay. We can multiply these all by each other, as long as they have the same base. 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 4 times 2 to the power of 3. We are simply adding the exponents, because they have the same base, and they're multiplied by each other. 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 3 is 10. Ugh. So it's not 10, it's 2 to the power of 10. Don't make the same mistake that I just made. It's 2 to the power of 10. We add the exponents and we write it in that way. I love the brackets, it makes it clear. The next one, 4 to the power of 2 times 4 to the power of 4. We're adding our exponents, 4 to the power of 6. I won't talk too much so I don't jumble my words. If you are feeling confident about this, go ahead and pause, and then you can do the next couple and come back. And if you are good to go, that's great. Let's do the next one. Eight times eight to the power of three times eight to the power of four. Ooh, that is an ugly one. I'm gonna put a bracket here just so that you know we can see that that should be a power. That is an ugly four, but that's okay. Eight to the power of one. So one plus three is four, plus four is eight. This is eight to the power of eight. Something that I am not comfortable doing even on paper. That is a huge one. Uh, the next one, it's also eights. So we have eight to the power of one times eight to the power of three. I already added the one just for convenience, which is eight to the power of four. Nine, as we move on, it's five to the power of three multiplied by five to the power of zero. Uh, three plus zero is just three. So this is five to the power of three. And this also makes sense, as you probably know, five to the power of zero is one. Any number to the power of zero is one. Okay, any number, any number, any variable, anything. So five to the power of three makes a lot of sense. And our last one that we're going to do, six to the power of four multiplied by six to the power of two multiplied by six to the power of zero. Again, we're adding the exponents so 4 plus 2 plus 0, that's 6 to the power of 6. So when we are multiplying bases that are the same that have exponents, we just add those exponents. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you soon.